What's cracking everyone? Ralph Mayhew here. Great to be with you today. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk through seven of the most helpful apps I use on a regular basis as a photographer. <laughs> Just not working. Gosh. Oh, it's so good. I've got my phone here. I'm going to stick it up on the screen now. Just there and you can track along with me. So the first one is Photo Pills. Photo Pills is amazing. It gives you the sun, so it tells you when the sun comes up, tells you when the sun sets, blue hour, nautical hour, golden hour, when it's daytime, etc, etc. But then it also tells you where the sun comes up. So if I orientate my phone like this, I can see the sun comes up there. So if I'm looking at a uh, landscape image and I'm wondering where's the sun going to come up so I can be ready for this photo pills shows you however if I go to one of the other functions that I like a lot so the moon same deal with the moon it tells you when the moon sets what phase the moon is in if it's full moon half moon today is a waning gibbonus gibbous is that right hmm. anyway thanks moon but if you go down to here, night AR, it shows you where the Milky Way is. And so you can just stick this up and it's it, like the Milky Way is above us, but it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. So that's not gonna help you much, is it? But you will see where the Milky Way is in order for you then to, um, to go and take some Astro and get stuck into that. There's a bunch of other really cool features on this. It costs $14.95, but gosh, worth every bit of it. You've got a planner so you can position yourself. This is a video I did a few weeks ago of Corumban Rock with the 600 mil, which you can I'll put in the uh, end banner of this video so you can see. But that helped me nail that shot and know where to stand and when to stand and where the sun was coming up. And you can also see when the um, the moon's going to come up and various other uh, arrangements. Well done, photo pills. Now let's go to clear outside. Clear outside is a must if you're a landscape photographer because you're going outside. Uh, let's go locations, go Burley Heads because I'm often shooting there. I love Burley. And you will see that right now, right now, there's not a cloud in the sky, which is dead true. I could take you outside and show you, but there's honestly there's no clouds in the sky but if we go through and go what's tomorrow morning look like as a shoot um, or for me I'm gonna go out on Thursday morning so let's go that's Wednesday so we go to Thursday morning and right on sunrise it looks rubbish the reason I'm gonna go out is to do a reflection on the low tide with the the Sun that could be a bit of a disaster I've been planning it for a few weeks but it could be a bit of a disaster so total cloud is 60% cover a lot of its low cloud low cloud is not good for sunrises or sunsets high cloud is what you want but super handy if you're going out astro you're like oh I need it to be night when there's no clouds in the sky and so um, you just go along until you find somewhere let's push on magic Nikon viewfinder magic Canon viewfinder magic Sony viewfinder it doesn't matter but here's the beauty of what this does is it allows you to choose your focal length so say you're looking at a shot you're like I don't know if I should get out a 20 mil prime or if I sh if it's a 50 or a 70 or do I need to go wider and with this little app you can just look at your scene and it shows you what sort of focal length you need on your lens so if I shoot with a 300 that's what things look like so if I put a 300 on and the focal distance was far enough that's what a 300 would look like of my lens you get the picture so it's just super cool and for each brand of camera is created differently so they have a magic brand insert your brand viewfinder so use yours lightning is super cool I've got this to set me with a notification so I could be like I don't know, in a meeting or chat with someone or a dinner and that the thing goes boom I'm like <gasps> Lightning, let's go! Because you just need to know when the lightning is coming. So um, at the moment in southern New South Wales, just out Sydney, side Sydney, there is a storm. There's no storms near Gold Coast, but that's what it looks like. The, the map just lights up with that. Oh, that'd be a cracker. And so when this coming, you can see when the storms are coming, you can position yourself um, and you can also pair that with this Weather Zone app. Um, Weather Zone gives you a radar of where the rain is coming from and when the rain's coming and so that's also a really handy one to know where the storms are moving if there's going to be any rain whether you need to be careful or make the most of the rain and so forth that's a little bit of a bonus actually I wasn't planning to, to shoot
share that one, but you know, we're friends, so I hope you enjoy that. Then this was really is completely off track, and I don't know if you've checked this guy out. Frono's photos, which is Jared Pol Jared Polin has developed my gear vault. And basically, when you go into my gear vault, you actually uh, sign in, which I haven't done, it's a bit annoying. But you can list all the gear you have and how much it costs you. It's actually, he then links it to an insurance company that you can go through and insure your gear. But I have it as a way of keeping track of what gear I've had, how much it costs me. So if any of the gear gets lost or stolen or broken, I can talk to my insurer about the information that's on here. You put in your serial number, the date of purchase, the cost of purchase, all those things. And it really makes things so, so much easier when it comes to um, renewing your gear, finding your gear, or keeping track of your gear. Then I've got this one. This is the surf report. And so if we go here, I'm going to go burly heads, and it shows me what the surf is like. So at the moment, it's one foot, which is rubbish. And if I go forecast, we can see that it is not much point going out for the rest of the week to actually shoot some surf photography. Uh, oh, maybe Sunday. See, five and a half, six foot on Monday morning, seven and a half foot. So that's really good. You can see what the way the wind's coming, um, the strength of the wind versus the height of the swell and see if it's gonna be favorable for some barrels and burly, that's what we're talking about. But maybe it isn't, maybe um, you can use it for other things. Again, I live on the beach, so that's helpful for you. May not be so. And again, on the beach, my tide times so this shows me when the tides going to be high and low and on which day it's going to be high and low so we have here on the left hand column the uh, time that the tide is low and high and low and high how high and low it's actually going to be and you can look at moon phase and more so another super helpful app now i'm willing to bank on the fact that you use some epic apps too that i haven't mentioned here so if you found an app to be really, really helpful, I'd love you to put a link to it or just an explanation to it in the, the comments below so we can all benefit from it. This might become like an app fiesta of just frothing all these apps that'll be really helpful. Um, all of those are free except for photo pills. I don't like paying money for, for apps. Like if it's 99 cents, I'm like, ah, I can't afford that. It's a ridiculous mindset, I know. However, um, I, I spent the 14 bucks or 15 bucks on that and you would have seen from previous videos I use it all the time it's so super helpful and really informative so if any of these apps can help you um, I, I'd love to hear how I'd love to hear if any of them are a bit of a surprise that you've never engaged in or if you found better versions of them I'm really keen to update all the time and keep right on the cutting edge of it all thanks for watching please subscribe especially if you're liking these videos there's a ton of others that I've done so please just have a bit of a scroll through have a look see what you think and um, thanks for joining me ring the bell ring the bell because ding 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 who doesn't like a bell and hit the thumbs up and i will see you in the next video that i'm going to put up right now which i don't know might be my corumban rock one or well there's a few to choose from so see what you think bye